i hope you all are doing good thanks for joining me today in this painting video where i will be showing you a small acrylic study which i have uh, saved in my screenshot gallery for a long time i found this pretty lady from little river mag and i was really very attracted to the scenic beauty and the posture of this lady she is um a n a and score karen 67 and i got really attracted to her mysterious uh, smile and um, her gaze so here it is so it all begins with a pencil sketch uh, which is the most important part of any drawing any painting it determines the outline where to put which color and uh, when i'm completely done with this i started the painting and you can see me that i have painted uh, i have used um, scarlet red and yellow ochre and mixed it together to create this uh, burnt sienna but uh, uh, the reason why i am mixing these two color but not using burnt sienna because i'm out of burnt sienna i have to like uh, buy it but right now i don't have uh, burnt sienna in my stock so kind of i am like uh, replacing it with yellow ochre and uh, scarlet red so when i'm done with underpainting um, let's start with uh, blocking up the darker areas or the shadowed areas which is the hair eyes and the shadow beneath her chin the folds of her clothes and uh, the surrounding areas and when I'll be done painting these darker areas, I'll start with the lighter tones. So for the skin tone, I have used yellow ochre, scarlet red, titanium white and a um, little amount of chrome yellow. But if you want to draw this, to paint these uh, shadowed areas like in her hands or beneath the eyes you have to add little bit of Prussian blue but uh, you can see there are little variations of mid tones as well on her cheeks on her hand in, in that case you can use little amount of crimson lake uh, in this mixture now you can see me I am painting her clothes and uh, for her trouser I am using uh, like this Prussian blue mixed with little amount of sap green and titanium white and with that I'm just uh, dabbing the brush I'm using a small brush because this is a small area I have to work with and uh, the whole painting is uh, done with a fine brush you can see so the darker areas uh, beneath her trouser means where she is sitting you can see the shadow is being created and you can use uh, like i'm using their ivory black mixed with prussian blue and i am dabbing that color as well in the background and when the background is like uh, literally rising up uh, near her head and shoulders in that area i have used uh, like sap green with that mixture and at the top uh, the sky it's clear blue sky and uh, in that area I am using a uh, like a round brush it is a big size brush and I am using here ultramarine blue mixed with white and for this mountainous area I have just used a fine brush to paint out the snowy part of the mountain and the reflected area and when you come downwards you can see a little bit of a bushy wildflowers grown uh, so for that i have used like sap green mixed with uh, titanium white and little amount of chrome yellow and with that i am giving a dab uh, all around the painting and uh, this dabbing is done with this uh, round brush only and when I am done with all that, I will use uh, like a fine brush and apply uh, ivory black wherever necessary. You can see me that I have not used ivory black in the beginning, but it was just a mixture of Prussian blue with uh, its complementary colors, which is uh, scarlet red and a little amount of yellow ochre. And here it is. I'll keep this painting like this only without adding any more 
fine detailings i want it to be um, more like impressionistic and rather than fine detailed painting because now it is i'm learning this method of ala primer and i am working on this method for few days and i'm really liking it mm. so guys i hope you all enjoyed watching this video and if you have anything to ask about this painting or the materials i am using feel free to comment down below and guys please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to stay notified about my painting videos and do follow me on instagram i do post there as well about my work in progresses and a few behind the scenes clips so guys uh, stay creative and i'll meet you soon in my next video bye bye